going to try saying stop and I want to see what she does. But I'm not going to click unless she makes a good choice. Yeah, she wants to treat. There, I don't mind this. Good girl. I'm not, she's not going to get one for trying to mug my hand. Stop. Yay. She knows she's going okay. to Okay. Right? Good, but that's what we want. We do want that. We're building reinforcement history. So she didn't quite have it in her mouth yet. And I said stop and she made a conscious decision. I'm gonna place it down again. She's gonna look at it. I'm gonna say stop as I place it. Stop. Now, yes, good. Stop it, say stop. Girl. Stop. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Stop. Whoa, that was a that choice. That was beautiful. Stop. Stop. Okay, now drop. Drop it. Put the treat by her Stop nose. It. Good girl. Good leave girl. it there. Leave it there. Good. Just leave it there now and let's see what she chooses to do. Leave it there. Leave it there. If she looks at it, I'm going to click. Hold on. Good girl. Pick it up. Activate it again. Give it a little drop. Yes. You know what? You don't need your stop. You can put your stop in there, but she's choosing to do it on her own. So throw, throw it. That's why I'm confused. Yeah. Throw, but that's. Yay! Good. She's Girl. making the choice. I like to get a verbal with it so that we can use it. So throw it and say stop. Stop. And she said, I'm not even going for it. Good girl. So as you throw it, say stop. Stop. Good. Girl. Now I want you to pick it up, put it on your counter. All right. Now what I want you to do is flick it off the counter like it's a piece of food. As you stop. Stop. Good girl. Girl. Good girl. All right, um...